right, boys and girls. Hello. Fingers crossed, this is the last time you gotta watch this doofus try to l lug us around. Doofus? You stupid hipster doofus! I heard it one time and I thought it was funny, so I'm trying to bring it back. Doofus? Uh, doofus, this goober over here. Oh, it's all right. I'm sorry. I had a friend who had rabies once. So, we're gonna head to Boston Market. Yeah, first time we've been there in a year and a half, maybe. Today, I'm teaming up with Sean and Corey from number six with cheese. Green beans are disgusting. Let's see how gross these are. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to watch these. Look at his face while it happens. Watch this. Green beans are so gross. Those are. Watery. I'm hoping that they got what we're looking for. Listen, I need a fix. <laughs> we gotta get the fix. We're gonna find out. Stay tuned. Clear your throats and clear your, <laughs> clear your schedules. For some good old fashioned chicken. <laughs> you know, there's a reason Boston Market has the same initials as bowel movement. Why? What's the reason? Dude, I'm gonna give you some apple apple streusel too. Oh, f a little apple, some, some cinnamon apple streusel. I've never even heard of apple streusel. I, I I'll tell you what, this is the very first time I've ever been in a drive-through at a Boston Market. Probably me Hello, too. Welcome to Boston Market. My name is Anna. Would you like to try your new roasted garlic and herb rotisserie chicken for only $10.99 today? Yeah, I think we'd love to do that. Can we do? Um, we're gonna do two orders, so uh, two of the half chicken meals. Sure, would you like to try the garlic and herb sauce with them? Yes, please. Sure, for the first one, what are your two sides? Let me do uh, mashed potatoes and mac and cheese. 24, 29 is your total. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. Have a good one. Who wants some chicken? Two half chicken meals, garlic, rotisserie, herb, dinner, meal, you know, food. Acquired jump cut! Well, well. For whatever reason, today's episode, you're gonna watch it and wonder, I wonder if I'll ever eat that. And as with every episode, by the end, you'll know, well, now I know whether they would or not. <laughs> so, Jeez. we're here to answer questions. All right, down in the front, what's your question? Is that food good? What do you think's in there? I don't know. It's mushy. <laughs> I would have said, no way that's food in there, right? Cornbread! Two pieces of cornbread. Which I'm probably not gonna be filling my body with that. No, I probably I won't. The carbs I don't think today. I wanna eat that. This is like so much food for, I mean, really it's 10 bucks, 11, 12 bucks a person. I mean, it's a lot of money. But. It's a lot of money, it's gonna be a lot of food. You know, I mean, you're, we're getting a whole meal, dude. Wait till you see this. <laughs> Look at this. How this much? thing is absolutely no joke. Oh, yeah. This is an $11 meal for sure. Like, yeah, you this know? is Thanksgiving. First off, awesome container. Excellent use of the storage space for the gravy. Love it. Removable. Put that to the side for later. Nice little tab. Makes it easy for me to lift. And I have to say, I think this is looking excellent. They're famous mashed potatoes. They're delicious looking spiral macaroni and cheese. And this seasoned up, gnarly looking chicken looks pretty Gosh darn good. It really does look incredible. Do you want a little gravy pour? Yeah, the whole, the internet wants it, I want it. Tell me when you're ready, it's going on the potatoes. And go for it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be There's something good. about this that's erotic. I don't know, and I like it. Here we go, ladies and gents. This is the epitome of something that you shouldn't eat in your car, but it yeah, oddly right? works well. Because they really thought it through. This is like super good packaging for this. Yeah. They crushed it. This is the garlic herb rotisserie half chicken and two sides from Boston Market. Today at number six with cheese. I did a stick and spin. You know how alligators rip limbs off? Stick that's and spin, I, that's what they call that's it? I did a stick and spin. Well, I'm not as good as you at that, so you I'm You gotta gonna... learn the alligator roll if you wanna rip off food while also using your hand for other, you know, just I'm gonna use a stab and tear. Mmm, the stab and tear. All right, the chicken first. Cheers. Cheers. Super good. <laughs> oh, man. Buttery. Mmm. You know? That is really good. Yeah. I'm gonna dive in and try some of this other stuff here. I'm gonna rip my drumstick off. Whoa, macaroni cheese, super good. Dude, look at They also gave us this in like a minute and a half, and it's piping hot. Yeah, this was super quick for like how much it, food it is and whatnot. Mashed potatoes, of course, are awesome. Mm -hmm. Is Boston Market underrated? Boston Market's awesome. I rated it pretty high. Did you think it wasn't that great? Nobody talks about it. That is true. Because it's, it's tough to get meal stuff like this because the inconvenience. So yeah. Everybody prefers going to McDonald's, which is, you know, 
make sense. In the two years we've had this channel, I can count on one hand how many times people have even muttered the name Boston Market. Right. Did this originate in Boston? No, I don't think so. Looks like it was founded in Newton, Massachusetts, which is just west of Boston. So why wouldn't they call it Newton Market? Oh, because no one would clearly ever go there. Dude, this is pretty good. Wow, I hate that it's so good. That was the rip in the thing. It was tough. Knife. The potatoes are nuts. Their potatoes are so good, like, as usual. Straight up insanity. Like, those should not be that good. Mm. Dude, what'd they sprinkle on this? Crack? Dude, I can eat just straight up chicken skin all day. I know. Especially when it's this good. I'm doing a little so gravy pour now. Wildly unhealthy. Chicken skin? Yeah. Like, there's no way the stuff I'm eating right now is healthy. Yeah, it's better eat than eating vegetables, though. Those are terrible for you. <laughs> Why are you eating stem first? This is a new food for me. How else should I eat it? It is a little tough to get. I know. Bite, so just be forewarned. If you're just looking for flavor, this is amazing. Convenience, which fast food place convenience usually factors in. This is not very convenient. It is good, though. You're a monster. I don't know how someone can be bored so rich. So the quality is of someone who grew up in a trailer park, you know? <laughs> I'm really just trying to it's keep you guessing. It's unbelievable. I can't stop eating this, dude. Everything on here. It's all really great. And I and I didn't think it was gonna be. Really? I don't know. I was just kind of like, all right, we're about to go eat like a chicken dinner from like a fast food place. But it's like kind of not a fast food place. Right. We began serving our food on real plates with real silverware, bringing it to the table, cleaning up after people. Um, and that, that really kind of set a new standard for us. I mean, you gotta drive up window and you can get your food in 90 seconds you are a fast food place but you're actually, not driving down the highway right <laughs> like it's you actually with pretty impressive what they did here it really is because it's a full dinner yeah that's the market they're going for like people who want to have a full dinner I guess you could share this with somebody oh yeah definitely and it'd be five bucks basically a person I'm not finishing this it's a lot of food man it is just so good finger rips oh it's so hot it's though. so hot that's the thing piping you guys Wow. You know what I'm willing to just burn my fingers? It's gotta be good. I know. You're the king of just using your cuticles to be a monster. Right. Okay, so the actual seasoning, the reason this is new is because of that like herby rub on it and it's great. It's super salty. It's got a nice like kick to it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. You can tell we like because we're not even really talking. We're just sitting there like, mm, no. oh, mm, mm. This isn't a funny video. You're no. not funny. I'm not funny. This isn't funny. I'm just joy. I'm blown away, Boston Market. I'm blown away. And I did not think I was going to wake up today and say that in wow. the camera. Wow. we They did it right. I, I mean, that, there's only one way to describe it. You want a full-ass meal. You want to take that home, sit at the dining room, kitchen table, whatever. Mm -hmm. Have a meal. There it is. You figured it out. You got what you need. Definitely worth a try for 10 Bones. People who like to, you know, hang out and play video games, that type of lifestyle. I bet you they'd love to just, you know, be in one of those video game type of moods and have one of these to feast on in front of them. The rub on top of the chicken is like giving me a whole new outlook on life. Yeah, it's really good. Before we rate this, let's give some shout outs to people that donate to this series so that me and the big guy here can eat some Boston Market for another Patreon, Patreon shout, shout out. Patreon, Patreon shout out. Patreon, Patreon, shout, Patreon out. shout out. Man, oh man, are we excited to shout you guys out. Oh, this one's awesome. This one's super awesome. So you guys know we give out $75 every month to our Patreon winners as like a way to repay them for their awesomeness. Yeah. This person won it and you know sometimes we'll donate it back to us. Yeah. Not this person. Nope. They don't, they said, you know what, why don't you go and give that to charity. So Whoa. a nice young lady by the name of Bailey Medlin, who you know, she's Love Bailey. been a, a supporter from the get-go. Yeah, she's an OG. She asked us to donate to a charity of her choice because of Mattsville Parm, and we know that these guys are doing really great work. We, we donate to Purple Asparagus. Oh man, they give like inner city kids. Educate. Educate, they educate them about like fruits and vegetables. And, like right. I never got that education. I never got that either. I you got that You think people were through. serving up eggplant to me? So no, I knew what the hell no, that was? No, So it's I think it's a really good cause. I think it's great. Oh, it's incredible. So. It's incredible. Bailey, thank you for donating your winnings to Purple Asparagus, and thank you for supporting us. We got another little avatar that's donating to this series. You don't got to tell us your real name, or maybe it is your real name. Mr. or Mrs. Nearly Worthless. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> Nearly. Not, Nearly. Not, but maybe almost. Which I think the bit is, I want to say that they donate a dollar. Oh, I like that. But okay. it is not It is not worthless to us. Not even people who donate even a dollar, we like, seriously. It's I truly so, appreciate so, that. so, so worth it. You're yeah. still getting a shout out. We still love you. You're still amazing. Thank you so much. Look, dude, I'm just a monster. Dude. I like can't stop taking bites. This macaroni and cheese is so cheddary. Got meat sweats. Isn't that macaroni and cheese pretty good? I right, this is my last bite. Dude, there's just so much of it. I could eat that until I'm like in pain. Oh, I know. That was good. All right, time to rate it. Let's do it. There's another security guard slash cop going I through know. the Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> drive-thru. <laughs> so funny. I'll take a thousand strips of bacon. 
Out of five stock images of a family enjoying Thanksgiving dinner, how many stock images of a family enjoying Thanksgiving dinner do you give the garlic and herb rotisserie chicken dinner from hmm. Boston Market? Man, that is in a league of itself. There's not even anything I can really compare it to. I know, man. And it was really at the top of its game. I want to leave a little bit of room just because you never know. I know. That didn't feel like it like closed the book on what could be done. But it's still a really good, like, I'll say like a 4.25. Wow. It's really good. Closest thing to that would be home-cooked meals. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're right. comparing, that's right. a fast food version of, and if your family, your mom or your grandma, dad, grandpa, uncle, it sucks at cooking, that's pretty good. That's really good. You know what I mean? Some people, I hear, I've had friends who are like, man, oh. my family can't cook. I got people who I'm going to not name on here who I've had to yeah. endure their cooking, and I, I got to tell you, I know. I'd rather be bringing that. Yeah. I'd, I'll bring a tray of that, mm -hmm. hide it in my cargo shorts yeah pull it out in between the meal one one pockets meat one pockets mashed potatoes then I don't eat their stuff I just go gross <laughs> I'm gonna match Corey's score and give that a 4.25 I really liked that score and I'm gonna emulate it I like the sneeze and the eating the sneeze or whatever that was <laughs> Or <laughs> it was a handful of meat. It was a handful of meat from my cargo short. The other had, had the other cargo short pocket had mashed potatoes. Comment below your favorite thing from Boston Market if that's a thing. If there's no comments down below, we'll know you don't have a favorite thing from Boston Market. There better be some. You better do I get, it. Or you I get real pissed, pissed off pissed when off. there's no Especially comments when it's in the first day. 24 hours because that's when I respond. <laughs> Sixers, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. We need to put the AC on because we're dying. It's hot. Of heat. It's hot. You want to um, trade some beans for some noodles? I don't even know why you speak to me sometimes. <laughs>